What's up, everybody? As you can see, I'm driving, so I've just got the phone on my steering wheel, so if I make any turns, then uh, the uh, camera's going to turn, too. So I apologize in advance for any movement. Uh, anyway, we're just heading to pick something up at the store, and um, I had, and, and my son's in the back, obviously, by the way, so uh, you might hear him. He was entertaining himself with little sounds earlier, and now I guess I'm talking, so he's just listening. But uh, I, I had Audible on, because that's what I do when I drive. I'll put some kind of audio, in this case, my book. And if you remember, last time I, uh, I put together my power story, just the basic story. And um, in this chapter that I'm, that I'm reading slash listening to now is about writing your passion story. And Valerie Ku talks about how some people start businesses and they don't really have um, a passion for it. They're just good at something and that's why they start the business. And you know, um, But what you really want to do is, you know, she said a lot of times, you do have a passion somewhere that's you know like bubbling underneath and that's the reason you're still going, but it's being covered up by, by life, by stresses and, and you know bills and family stuff and whatever else is going on in your life and just really falling into your business. Uh, but anyway, she said one way to figure out what your passion is, is to think about what you loved doing when you were 12. And as she's talking about this, my brain jumps back to when I was 12, um, and it just really cracked me up because when I was 12, I remember my father bought a computer. It was 286. Um, really old computer. We had a 1200 baud modem, which was later upgraded to a 2400 baud modem. And one of the things, there were there were three major things that I did. One of them was playing this game called Tele Arena, uh, which is a really old-fashioned text-based Dungeons and Dragons game. Okay, and those of you who are around my age probably remember. There's actually still a bulletin board you can tell that into and, and play that. Anyway, that's one thing. But what I was really laughing about is that I have discovered bulletin, bulletin boards, right, BBS. And I would go in there and, you know, chat with people sometimes. And one thing that I really liked doing is I would read up on, wasn't really, I don't even know what to call it, but um, here's, here's what I would do. And this is, this is an admission. This is, this is something that's probably highly illegal. But I used to set my modem, I, I got this program, I don't even know how I got into this, but I would set my modem to dial these numbers and look for other, other online things. So it would like dial and if somebody would pick up it would hang up on them. It was just like really frustrating for people. Um, and then sometimes it would connect with a fax machine or sometimes it would connect with another modem and it was like a way to, to hack into people's computers basically or to hack into private boards. And I have no idea how the hell I started doing it, but it just made me think, gosh, I should be, you know, a, a black hat marketer for all that stuff. And then I, I think about when I when I look at marketing, the, the things that I do when I do CPA marketing and affiliate marketing, and I look at, you know, the and there's there goes my son, <laughs> and and I think about some of the stuff that um, that I I do, and and and. Uh, maybe not do, but some of the stuff that I look at, I'm like, I want to try that. It's usually something that is very much black hat and, and very much, you know, has a, a scammy feel to it or a spammy feel to it. And I just get so excited looking at stuff and going, wow, I could game the system like this and game the system like that. And I've, I've been doing that since I was 12. So not not to say that I'm trying to game anyone now. I really, uh, it's been, uh, it's been a, a big challenge for me to think about things in, how can I do this very legally and how can I do this in a way that helps people as much as possible? Uh, that's really been my, my focus in terms of me improving. But it's just it just made me laugh to think that in the least I was already working on computers. I was already doing something that was related to, to marketing in some way and to, and to figuring these things out and trying to see what other people were doing online. Um, so, and somehow I, I ended up doing marketing and, and staying online. So anyway, very exciting stuff, and um, I hope you enjoyed that video. This is, uh, this is actually day 90 of my challenge, which is another exciting thing. Uh, so I've done more than 90 videos, really, but 90 videos in a row 
with the intention to do 90 videos in a row, with the intention to to improve, to get better at doing videos, to improve my speaking skills, to to grow as a person, to have personal breakthroughs, and I've had many of those that I've shared with you, and uh, and there's more to come. And I, you know, it's it's kind of funny. I was thinking, well, should I keep recording videos now? And I don't know. I, I think I think. I'll do whatever feels right on that day. That's that's what I'll do. I'll just do whatever feels right and whatever moves me for, forward and whatever helps you as my subscriber or the person who is just coming here. Uh, anyway, if you're enjoying these videos, if you if you came you know if you came here from Facebook or from Twitter or from LinkedIn or wherever wherever else you saw this link, then there's a little form on the right side of the blog. It's, uh, it says 123, and it's got some stuff in there, and then it has uh, a space for your email. So plug your email in there. There's a video past that from my friend Dave Sharp, uh, and he talks a little bit about his story, which you know, I think you can really hear his passion in that. And I've got a red light now, which is why I'm, I'm looking at you again. Um, but uh, anyway, I, th I think you'll really enjoy it, and um, and after you watch that... What should you do? You should uh, you should join me in this. You should start your own blog because this is fun. This is really fun, and uh, pretty soon you're gonna be able to do what I'm doing. You're gonna be driving and recording yourself, or you're gonna be walking somewhere cool and, and taking pictures and putting them up. Or if you have a restaurant, you're gonna be putting up shots of the food that you serve, and uh, you're just gonna have a lot of fun. So uh, anyway, go ahead, put your email in there, watch the video. Join me, get your own blog, and uh, I will see you guys next time I record a video, and I'll see you on my next blog post. Love you all. Bye-bye.